Okay, everybody, um, here's a quick, uh, something new that I learned, quick tutorial, I guess you could say. Um, how do you resolve a dropped transaction in MetaMask? So this is the first time happening to me. A friend of mine, Aaron, just showed me how it's done. Uh, basically, what was happening was I was trying to send ETH from MetaMask to Ronin to play Axie Infinity, right? So I need to buy some Axies. If you don't know what Axie Infinity is, it's basically a, a, a cryptocurrency-based game and you can play. It's really fun. Um, now, I received the ETH, right? I did receive the ETH, but the transaction in MetaMask showed this. It said, excuse me, it showed this. It says pending as if the transaction hasn't gone through, but I actually received. So I was transferring uh, 0.27 ETH. I received it in my Ronin wallet, which is another wallet, but on my MetaMask wallet, it keeps showing pending. And I tried to do another transaction and that transaction got stuck in the queue. So I saw a queue of two. So there's one transaction here and one below it. Both my transactions were stuck because of this first transaction, which was not going through. Now, in actual fact, it did go through, but it's just on the app itself, it's, it's not going through, right? It still shows pending. I can only speed it up. I can't seem to cancel it either. So it's very weird. I was very confused. And what happened was when I looked at the transaction hash, it showed this. You see this? So on Etherscan, or Etherscan, uh, it showed dropped, right? So it could not process the dropped transaction. And so because of that, I can't do any other transaction either. Like I said here, right? So it's a queue of two. So this is stuck. If I did another transaction, it will also be stuck and stuck and stuck, right? I actually didn't need this wallet anymore because I just wanted to remove all my ETH and use another wallet, but then it was just stuck. So when it's dropped like this, how do you fix this problem? Now, I don't know why exactly it gets dropped. Maybe it's because of low gas fees or gas fees just change suddenly and so on. Uh, but it's weird because on my Ronin side, I already received the money, right? It's just on my, uh, on my uh, MetaMask side, M, let M. MetaMask side, it was not going through, so it's dropped. So what do you do? Okay, so this is what you do. If you look at my, um, this is my MetaMask wallet, which I was trying to use. It has $3 left inside. So can't really do much with it. Now, if you look here, uh, here, negative or uh, minus 0.278. So this was the original transaction, right? Transaction was created on the 19th, right? So I actually made this transaction on the 19th yesterday. Today is the 20th, if you can see. So it, it took one day and it still showed pending, right? And I asked a friend for help. So if you look at this transaction on Etherscan, or Etherscan, okay, um, here's the contract. It's transferring ETH from XC Infinity to wrapped ETH. Okay, so basically on, on XC Infinity side, it uses a bridge to change ETH into wrapped ETH, right? With a W. So that's fine, that, that makes sense. Uh, here it shows success, but I already knew it was a success. It's just that in my own um, account, it showed pending on MetaMask side. So it's something to do with the MetaMask browser that we need to fix. And one of the ways that we can do that is to fix it using what is known as a custom nonce, okay? So uh, needs to be fixed using custom nonce. So, excuse me, nonce. So I'm not, going, I'm not going to explain what a nonce is because I don't fully know how to explain that. But the easiest way to do it is that, okay, in this transaction, I want you to imagine that it says pending, right? It, let's just imagine it says pending here. If you open this transaction, look at the nonce. Where's the nonce? It's right over here. Right? See nonce? The nonce number is two, right? So this is a nonce of two. What I need to do is I need to create a custom nonce and then I'm going to make a transaction with the number three to sort of like override this transaction and tell MetaMask that, hey, just ignore it, it's fine, okay? That's the easiest layman term that I can use to explain it. How you do that is you go to your um, uh, 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 icon over here, you look for your settings down here, then under settings, obviously you go to advanced, okay, you scroll down all the way, oh, sorry, I went a bit too far. Can you see? Customize transaction nonce, okay? So by changing this, remember, this is an advanced feature, use cautiously, so don't do this if you don't know what you're doing. In fact, don't even follow my, my own advice. Just go and research online. Ask the support team if you need help. Read their, support, um, read their support documents as well to figure out what you're doing. But this is what my friend showed me. So if I switch this on, customize transaction nonce. Okay, so I switch, switch that on, right? I can leave the rest as it is. Go back to general, X, go up. Now, what I needed to do is, after this is still saying pending, right? This hasn't solved the situation. It still says pending here. I then need to send myself a transaction. You see this? Receive. It says zero ETH. So I, I sent myself a transaction with nothing. So if you look at this, what I did was, um, let's go to MetaMask. What I had to do was, go to assets. I'm just going to send, uh, sorry, copy my address. Copy. My address is up here. Right? Just click copy. 
send, paste my address, eat, eat zero. I'm just gonna put zero. Leave everything here as it is. Go to advanced options. Sorry, not, not advanced options. Uh, when you go, go to next, okay? Can you see here? Under this, it says custom nonce. Now I would have put three, right? Why did I put three? Because earlier on, when I looked at this, this nonce was two, right? So find the nonce, oops, that's underlined there. Find the nonce of the pending or dropped transaction in MetaMask wallet. In your MetaMask wallet. Okay. Send yourself zero it to your own account address. Uh, click next and then edit the custom nonce to plus one the value from the pending dropped transaction. Okay, so example, if the dropped transaction had a nonce of two, then your custom nonce should be three. Okay, so that's what I did. I changed the nonce to three and I should be able to see that in my math. Obviously, if I, I'm not going to bother doing this because it's just going to charge me money um, for no particular reason. But if I go here, I should see, can you see it? There we go. Custom nonce of three. See that? So I sent myself zero ETH. It had a small uh, 66 cents um, gas price, which is fine. I had enough for that. And uh, I just changed this to three. I forced it to be three. And once that happened, this pending, right? Earlier it said pending is no longer there anymore. So you can see here, right? It said pending, but now it doesn't say pending anymore. It's been confirmed. I'm not sure why this happens or how this manages to solve it. I had a few other is issues as well, uh, but essentially it seems to be able to resolve this problem of the pending. Why does that happen? How, why does doing this make a difference? <laughs> I don't know the technical details, but let's look at Etherscan as well and see my, my own address. So you can actually see, okay, so this was the, um, sorry, before that, see the nonce of three. So this, was, if I, I clicked on view on Etherscan, this is the transaction itself. From my own wallet, 0x67b, to my own wallet, 0x67b, right? So I'm sending myself uh, zero it, right? And I don't know if the nonce is here. I believe the nonce is here as well. Ah, there we go. Nonce is also here, number three. In fact, you can also find the nonce from either scan. So this was the one that was a pending transaction. If I click here, you can actually find the nonce down here under click to see more. Click to see more. See the nonce is there, right? It's a, it, what the nonces are basically referring to the each transaction that you do. So if that was number two, my first ever transaction with this wallet should be nonce number one. You can see it there, right? Nonce number one. If I open that in Etherscan, Etherscan, click to see more, nonce number one is there. Okay, there we go. Right, so every transaction that's in the wallet is numerically coded to the nonces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This should be seven. Oh no, four. Okay, how does that work? One, count it. Two, okay, this doesn't have, oh, this is receiving fund, sorry. Receiving is not counted. One, so be two, this is three. I custom put three, so that was an issue with my contract here. Just ignore that one, so that's three. Here's four, and this is also four because this was something to do it. Uh, this is another one that I had to cancel. So ignore that, but essentially all the transactions here will receive their own nonce. Now, if you go to my wallet address, so this is my wallet address, which I'm looking at, can see here, I sent myself, I sent myself twice because I have some other transactions I needed to figure out what was going wrong. But this transaction uh, here, 0 0.27 ETH, this is the one that was stuck, right? Now, if I click on the transaction hash, it will say success right now, right? Previously, it said dropped. So remember here, it said dropped. Now it says success. That's perfect. Um, I did receive the money anyway, even though it said drop, but it was just messing up my MetaMask. And this was the transaction I needed to do, right? To send myself nothing. Right, nonce number three. Okay. There we go, nonce number three. And so that sort of like overrides the previous transactions and basically tells MetaMask, hey, everything's okay. The other thing that you need to do is to reset your browser. Remember, MetaMask is a web browser extension. So I think sometimes what you need to do is just restart your browser, close everything, 
close everything, restart, and then let's see whether you know it recognizes the proper transaction is done. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, how to resolve a dropped transaction in MetaMask? Just to recap again, if you see it pending, you click on it, and it says dropped. What you can do is you use a custom nonce in the settings, right? Uh, you can get this. Go to settings. Sorry. Go to settings. Advanced. Uh, choose to allow custom nonce. Okay. And then now what you can do is if I were to do another transaction. Uh, I think it automatically selects the nonce for me so I don't have to do this. What I would do is because it is an advanced feature and I don't want to mess it up, I usually just reject. Go to my settings again. Let's switch off that that, that thingy. So where is it? Here, customize nonce, switch it off. So let, let it just automatically do it so I don't, don't mess it up in any way. And uh, then we're back to normal, right? So I can use my account. Of course, I don't have much in my account, so I can't do much with it. Uh, but yeah, hope that helped you understand a little bit more about uh, dropped transactions. If you have any technical, in, uh, technical questions, please don't ask me uh, because uh, this is pretty new to me as well. Uh, what you can do is you can read some of the support articles on MetaMask itself or email the support team for more help. Okay, hope you learned something. Thank you very much.